in this video, I want to show you how you can install a Trello inside your Stable Diffusion, specifically in Comfy UI, so you can take 2D images and create 3D objects out of them. And this is truly 3D objects because you can even after take and import to some applications right here, Vu, and you can have this 3D objects so you can see inside. So it does create a real 3D object. And you don't necessarily need to use it, just static applications. This is work for Unity, Unreal, and all other applications, Blender. It does not include any rigging or bond system, so it's a solid object. But if you like it, it can give you a very nice basic model, so you can work around with that and create. Okay. So the my journey first is begin when I saw the Microsoft have a trellis out and this is kind of cool model that you can take it to the text and it will create 3D object. Well, first when I go over paper, read and the come to installations and start installations. If you find um, some steps, this seems like easy, but I run into several problems. And my biggest problem, I think first, it was um, you need to install properly CUDA tools. You need to install Anaconda or Microconda um, and some other ones elements. So let me show you what prerequisite, what I recommend you should have it. But also I fail and fail many times here. It just does not work, spend a lot of time till I find one good solution and I will show you. It's literally, I think, the most simplest way to use it. Less problems can occur this much and I do like how it's work. But this one solutions we're going as we progress. These steps what I'm showing you right now, you still need them. So they're not just a waste of time. Okay, There are steps that need taking. First, if we look right here, it is CUDA Toolkit. And for this, you need to go to developer NVIDIA. I will provide links to all of these resources down below. So you can just go in descriptions and go from there. From tool, CUDA Toolkit, you want 12.4. And whatever you're using, Linux, Windows, or other things, I'm using on a Windows 11. And I will have it and I download this. Okay, important things in installations, you don't need to do everything. Let me show you. So right here, you can see it's installed running, checking capability. Okay, agree. Don't click Express, go to Custom, Advanced, Next. And right here, just uncheck everything because you don't need it. All what we needed, if we expand the CUDA, we want to run down. Okay, let's expand there. And we needed to have in here only libraries. And in developing, we need compilers. So those two, it's what you want to have it. Um, when you check everything, and if you have it some others installed from the NVIDIA, it may be conflict and just does not install anything. I know because it's happened to me. I have it some web things installed from NVIDIA and it's newer version than this. And when I try to collect, select everything, it's failed. So in this case, if your installation is failed, it's probably you select all of them. So library and compiler. Well, I'm going to cancel this because I already installed on my machine. Next, you want to be sure you have a Conda or Micro Conda install on yours. It is just help you with installations. Link down below, you can go to Conda and download it here properly based on your OS, which one your installation needed. So I install Windows. Um, interesting things about this, sometimes it may fail installations or when it's installed, it does not find. And most time because it's not correct path. So to find correct path, after your installation and complete complete and if actually you know what let's let me show you so if you open command prompt doesn't matter anywhere and you just type conda version if you look right here mine is showing if you don't have it correct path even as after install it it will just says command not found so if you have a problem 
where your corner not found, then you need to add this inside your path. So how to add? First, let's go ahead right here and we'll have it open Anaconda prompts after installations. This is will actually load it with a special variables, environmental variables for Anaconda. And we have here. So next we need to find the path. And path, it can be depend how you set up. It can be in program files or other things. And for example, if I look on mine, I have it like two or three different installations. But I need to know one that I'm going to use it from this prompt. So if you type where Conda, this actually give you all its information. Notice it says mini Conda. So it's actually right there. And I also have it on a Conda 3. So it's showing me where is location for this. But for this, we're going to use the mini Conda because I need library scripts and this. Next, we need to take these values and put it in a path for our application. So for this, we're going and we'll go run view advanced systems. And you can see, you can just type on your search, just type advanced system settings. Okay. And it should be open for you. In here, you want to go to environment variables. And on the top is the variables, you can click edit. Sorry, let's select path. We need to select the path, click edit. It will open the list for you. And here you can see I already add those ones. So all what you need to do, click new and put it path. Be sure it says like in my case, C program data, mini conda script, no backslashes. Okay. Well, I have a bunch of other also here, like FFmpeg or Llama, you know, just whatever parameters you need to put it. But these is three actually will be important for you. It will be scripts, just mini conda root, and library bin. Those three, you need to put it path. So after this, you usually don't need to restart your computer. But in some cases, you may require. And after when you've done this, if you go there, and you again, retype the command, you should see now. The next, what you want to verify, if you have it, Python versions. And I recommend it, it's 3.10.10. .10. It's most library will support it. I know it's have it newer library, but newer Python version. But this is what kind of requirements ask you to have it. So be sure you install Python. And I will provide link down below. But you can also just search for python.org and go there, download it. Um, that one is straightforward, simple installations. Another one's what you want to also install, and I know it's a lot of installations, but if if you done some other uh, comfy UI and stuff before, you already should have it all of this. This is just in case if you're missing them. And that one is Visual Studio 2022. And this one is also free tool, so you can download it. And just use it free download community. It will do everything. Mostly what we're looking here, it's for those special libraries that utilize using with a trailer with this engine. Okay, so that is kind of first my experience was with this. Then I was following after I installed all these tools, I followed down to the rabbit hole or whatever you're gonna call it and try to install it. When I try to install um, with PyTorch, it's keeping giving on errors. If for some reason you have a different version of PyTorch, you can actually um, clean up what you need to do. It's going in your installation of PyTorch and just remove the directory with any torch name. Well, in my case, it wasn't that easy. It's some other fa fail, and I'm not sure if I set up path properly, and I was trying to do it, just keep on failing. So I was looking, okay, let's find a different solution for this if I cannot install directly. The another one it was when I go and can find Comfy UI 3D Pack. This is another project that's still kind of going strong. If you look, it's two months or when it's the last time updated, so it's still okay. And they have it some very similar when you can need install pre-build, so you have all the stuff. And you can follow instructions. I went and right here with the Comfy directory Python and Python extra, 
its waves keep on failing all the time for me. And even I install ConfUI clean directory, did all this stuff. So and it's it's nice documentation, everything. And in your case, maybe it will be nice and smooth. But in mine, it just keep on problems. And my biggest problem with this was that I do a lot of different developing. I do a lot of stuff with different environments. So mine environment on my computer is not clean. I have it a stable. I have it a global Python install. I have a lot of local environments with different Python versions, different versions of Torch style installed. It, it's just messy, honestly. Um, well, just maybe somebody. To me, is my environment set globally, my environment set locally, and all this stuff. And that is a conflict here happened to the point when it start installations and it start overriding new torch with all the enough to says it's not compatible or try opposite and it's it just uh, messy so after beating my head for a little bit and try to create my own environments i says you know what they have to one better solution and this is what i want to show you Remember what we said before, you still need to do this. You still need to install Visual Code. You still need to install all of that stuff. Visual Studio, you need to install CUDA. You need to install all of this because that is part of the requirement here. The next I found, and they actually says recommended, it is this. Compi 3D Win Portable. For me, it was a perfect solution. What it does, if you look right here, is come with a two files they're large they're two files it's a seven zip so if you need it if you don't have it download it win zip or seven zip file and you just going and download it two main files and link for them provide here on this website if you go to github if you scroll all the way down you'll find right there download package notice it's have it a very similar ways just explaining what you need to install it's what i told you so you still need to do that and when you click on this link you'll need to download this win portable zip one and two notice it's about two point something gigabytes so it's quite a bit large because it's actually have it comfy ui inside it's covered everything there so next step and that one was a little bit tricky because first time when i did it well, reading is not my favorite part sometimes. You'll notice right here it says edit this run. So when you open, don't rush it to clean. You need it to uh, click and install it. You need it edit this first run. And what's happening here, you can see you need to find this line. And according to GPU Arch documentation, if you go here, somebody put it a very beautiful documentation on this Arch. You need to figure out what value you need to put it. Okay, that was taking a little bit time for me. Okay, if we go back, and for example, this is by default, but if you edit, you need to change your value. Okay, <laughs> let me show you. This is this page, and here a little bit solution. After I looked through all this stuff, and I'm like, you know, it's already late, was I'm tired from this. How about I just copy that page, all content, go to ChatGPT, dump it, and just says, hey, what value I should have it for this? And it just give me um, search all papers, everything right here. and says the value for your video card, and I'm using RTX 3090. It says should be 8.6. Explain it. This is explanation why I should use these values. So at the same, if you have a ChatGPT even free, and you just don't want to figure out by yourself, copy, paste, dump in a chat GPT and ask, hey, what is value for this should be? Easy, fast solution. After when you figure out, you open your run, well, two files and it will be the same place. One, it will be, of course, uh, where is our file? There you go, I found it. it's a first run. So right here on the top, you can see you just put it set torch properly. And you also need to edit your run, ba uh, run batch files, set torch here as well to the proper uh, version for your CUDA processors, whatever you're using. So those two, you just need to save it. And you can just run first, which is 
done and install plot all components and install properly and i did not have it any problem after all my steps it's installed properly everything was run good and when you're done you can click run batch so when you do this it will run and open your applications so you will create and come up with something um, after run you can have a different workflow and that those workflows if you look back to the our page for the Compi 3d win portable it's what we was installing you'll notice right here it's have it some of this workflows so you can go ahead and download it and use those workflows first time when you download your workflow and you try to run um, it will come to the model and most likely tell you hey model is not yet downloaded let's try to download for the first time and it's tell you hey i cannot download it you need login so for this you actually need going to the hugging face and this will give you a link there well i will provide link also down below so you can accept right so you just go to that place and you just say do you accept agreement yes yes just small information so it's allowed you to go and actually download that model on your computer so it's all what you need to do for this and after of course you're done with all the stuff you're going here now in conf ui loaded model like for example this it's come actually with very nice png you can use it your own or you can use it wherever they provide here so for example there's go pirate cat notice also you want to have it isolated object and this as will be part of our future video where we can make this workflow a little bit more complex when we have an AI render mask out and create for us this nice image with a mask so we can use it well when you're done with this let's go press Q and just generate and you'll notice that is processing our model already preloaded it's creating stable fast and look how fast is actually was created so there you go now we have our 3d model created for us inside so quite a bit very fast processing does very nice beginning of course we need to go look on more different workflows see how they perform and everything but at this point you should run and ready to work let me take you a couple from some of the settings very fast so you kind of notice uh, most important for us it is if we look right here texture resolution is going 124 you can reduce if you need it but this is baked in inside the model which is kind of very nice those and also right here you have it mesh axis and it's depend for what application you use it i use it everything by default so i don't need modify but you can switch x z and y if depend you have some specific applications and then next it's where the saving and this is actual will save path in comfy ui output directory okay so if we navigate it and you can see output directory it will create sf3d test and right here notice it will create the glb file format so if for some reason your application does not take it you need convert but this is open source it's have some benefits um, versus other formats but it will read it by blender it will read by many other ones formats so it's a 3d format of the mesh and of course you can rename if you need it file well this is about all for how to install and use it hopefully it was helpful to you for me it was most important to find how to um, install what step take it to properly have it all components install it and i hope you enjoyed let me know about your adventures and we'll see you next time